Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna be reviewing my new product it's the Intel NUC 5 PPYH in fact uh, this is a live performance using the same uh, device I'm you know doing the screencast I'm I'm using uh, this uh, Camtasia Studio to record this video and I'm doing it on NUC 5 PPYH okay and uh, in fact this is the way the front actually looks and the right hand side right uh, I I thought initially I actually recorded a video of the product uh, I had a HD camera on my mobile but the results weren't good and I thought I could do a better uh, review if I just used images instead okay so this see on the left hand side you have a STXC card slot that's memory your know, external memory storage on the top you can actually see out here uh, we have the power button which glows blue when you power it and next to it you have the uh, the HDD or in my case I have a solid state drive activity light okay in the next picture you can actually see the left hand side will show you the STXC card slot and the Kensington lock along with some air vents for the dissipation of the heat this again is the front you, you have two USB 3.0 ports and the 3.5 mm jack for connecting your speaker or your headphone you have the power button and the HDD activity light that's on the top it's around 4 by 4 inches way lightweight I wouldn't say lightweight uh, around 800 grams is the weight without the solid state drive and without the um, the memory okay um, so more or less very compact uh, you can attach it behind your monitor or your television with a visa mount that comes along with the product and this is the rear actually guys so again some air vents for the heat dissipation it hardly heats up even after 10 12 hours 15 hours it hardly heats up you the power brick or the power adapter connection 19 volts goes out here this is the optical audio port glows red when the system is actually on uh, I really don't know how to use it I am not so very sure what this digital audio or the optical audio actually means out here you have the VGA port for old monitors, the HDMI port for the newer ones and you have the uh, the LAN port out here or the Ethernet port as it's called two more 3.0 USB ports alright so you know guys uh, the video recording is actually happening live on through Camtasia Studio on the uh, NUC 5 PPYH. If I open up the task manager, let's see the kind of performance we are actually getting. The CPU is at around 12%, 21% now. The memory 4 GBs of DDR3L uh, DDR L for low voltage 1.35 volts. 4 GBs, I, I have installed 4 GBs. You can see 3.9 GBs. Um, around 46% is being used. Disk zero ethernet didn't connect ethernet as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are actually inbuilt all to the motherboard that's a great thing okay um, startup apps some of them have been disabled and the last BIOS time around 22 seconds guys the system takes around 40 to 45 seconds to boot up around one second to shut down so fast but the boot uh, time is around 40 45 seconds which is not too great and I'm running Windows 10 on this device and uh, it took around 25 minutes to install which I think is slightly on the higher side and I think the BIOS time and the total uh, boot time is 40 45 seconds is also on the the higher side considering the fact that I'm actually using an SSD 128 GB's transient already <coughs> So uh, you can see the CPU is around sometimes 80%, sometimes 50% has dropped down further. Okay, but as you can see in the chart, it hits the the 100% roof. So the base speed 
of the processor is the quad core Pentium quad core processor is uh, 1.6 GHz is the N3700 uh, processor is uh, 1.6 GHz and the upper limit the uh, the the roof is actually 2.4 GHz it throttles up to that much if need be okay so uh, I had an issue when I tried to play 4k videos on YouTube and there are so many videos which are actually 4k these days and the processor would, act, would actually um, hit the 2.4 upper limit that it has and the video would actually pause for some time before it restarts again so pause and restart pause and restart would happen too often it stutters playing 4k videos so uh, probably it, it doesn't support 4k videos for sure so this processor is not meant for high end tasks my son who plays a lot of agario slidario stick cricket says that he can feel that lag from time to time okay so if you're playing normal HD videos on YouTube that's fine you're listening to music watching movies that's absolutely fine browsing on the internet uh, using uh, let's say PowerPoint uh, Word Excel that's all okay that's these are basic tasks but probably doing video editing like I do or using uh, heavy-duty softwares which uh, demand a lot of resources uh, probably is not the right choice and also when it came to the graphics, when it came to the videos, I felt that the crispness wasn't was probably less by 10%. The uh, text readability was probably less by 10%. I'd had to do the text calibration. I felt the colors. I still feel the colors are not so very vibrant as they could have been. There could have been an improvement by around 10%. Okay, so uh, that's an area. The video crispness, the brightness, contrast, colors. You know, everywhere it. Uh, I thought it could improve by further 10 percent so um, see 4 GBs of RAM is what you'll need at almost for most tasks you wouldn't need 8 GBs people are actually using 8 GBs uh, not so sure that it's actually needed I, I think 4 GBs is suffice for most tasks um, CPU the upper limit the throttle, you know it can't throttle beyond um, its threshold of 2.4 GHz and that is the area of concern that's the area of real concern so um, anything which is graphics intensive anything which is um, high-end gaming you wouldn't be able to do it properly without you know the CPU stuttering or choking from time to time as I said 4k videos don't play too well right and you can get 7.1 audio through the HDMI port if you're using HDMI port connecting it to your television you don't need to have an external speaker and uh, there's no need to attach a, you know the 3.5 mm jack and have an external speaker at all so that that's a good thing okay so all in all it's a good device it's a fast device um, it's space saving can go behind your television or monitor using the visa mount uh, hardly heats up uh, uses around 66 watts which is uh, so space saving power saving um, you you can uh, run it for hours and hours and hours and uh, it doesn't heat up it's completely noiseless although it has a fan I'm told but I, I, I can't detect the fan fan noise at all so that's that's great so guys um, my rating stands at 3 upon 5 simply because uh, I feel the um, the threshold for the processor uh, is 2.4 GHz so this is the live performance guys this is the live performance and you can see that the Camtasia recorder 32 bit is being used at the moment photos being used at the moment uh, so the recording is live on the system okay the screencasting is live on the system uh, not too many resources are used at this point but if I were to play a you know a 4K video, you'll see that the CPU will throttle or choke at uh, 100%. Okay, quite easily. So all in all, not bad. If but if you are into anything which is uh, demanding, this is probably not the uh, the right model for you. You should go in for the next higher up, i3 model, 
which should cost in India around 20, 20 and a half thousand. Okay. I, I, after using the SSD, I recommend everybody should use that. Although it's not necessary, you can use a conventional 2.5 inch HDD also. Um, memory, I would say you should go in for 4 GBs. Uh, there's no need to go in for 8 GBs. Um, unless, you know, you are into something which requires that much. But for most uh, tasks, you wouldn't require that much. So my verdict is, um, it's a very good device without being an excellent device you should definitely buy it if you are not into something very serious so guys I hope you found this uh, information useful this is the live performance of the Intel NUC NUC 5 PPY guys you have a good day bye bye peace